All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna see what kind of power we're pulling. Uh, this is two amplifiers at 0.5 per amp nominal ohm load, uh, 16 DC level 412s. Uh, this is going to be peak hold, uh, so I'm going to roll the volume uh, because I don't have anyone else back here to watch the clamps. Uh, that's set for peak hold. Set for peak hold. Uh, we're gonna burp 33 hertz on some pretty dead batteries. Uh, I'll probably record a video after this to see what the voltage drop is actually dropping down to. Uh, we're doing this with a term lamp to ensure that uh, results are consistent. Yeah, it's been it's been 152, 152, two, somewhere in there. Um, we're gonna do this from slow and roll it up, so we're not getting any spikes on the uh, clamps in the back. Fifty-two, two again. I would have done the mute roll, except the batteries in my remote are dead. Let's see what kind of power we're getting. Okay, and the voltmeter didn't record, but we pulled 23 amps. Let's reset the voltmeter. Uh, there we go. Now we're scaled. AC current. Reset our clamp. This probably isn't good doing this back to back with these batteries. These amps are uh, the amps are getting a little warm. Not too bad. AC record max. I'm gonna set to record max. As you can see, I'm doing this out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, these frequencies tend to uh, drive people insane. Go ahead and reset the meter again. This is DB Jams Volume 12. Yes, we are using track 33 for 33 hertz. I'll give it consistency, that's for sure. This is the engine off. I think I've got two batteries. There might be a third one connected. Uh, these batteries are pretty low. Let's hope we got numbers this time. 47.6 volts AC at uh, 22.6 amps. Without a calculator, myself off the top of my head, we're looking at a 2 ohm reactive load. Uh, uh, you have to use a calculator to figure out what the power is. I'm not doing that off the top of my head. Uh, this amp's connected. You can see all these are disconnected. And this amp is connected. So we're pulling somewhere in the neighborhood of 2 ohms. I'm going to say probably right around 1,000 watts per amp. Uh, doing a 52.2, that's... Not too bad.